Good morning traders, Joseph here from ACAP. Welcome to this week's Outlook. So starting uh, with Friday's um, comments from Fed Chair Powell, so they still see inflation as being a little bit too high and they are prepared to uh, raise rates to uh, combat that and get inflation, you know, continue to push inflation down. So with that in mind, um, you may have expected to see a pretty firm dollar. Uh, we didn't really see that. We saw a pretty late fight back from gold. It was a flat session afterwards. And now if we look at the dollar index, we can see it had another firmer session with a big uh, move back up to uh, 104.41, but it did pull back from there. So resistance remains pretty firm from that level down to uh, that, you know, 104. 20, 22, 25 area, we can just see that resistance there. So there is a pretty uh, solid band of resistance in this area at the moment. Until that's broken, it could continue to put downward pressure on the dollar. So we'll continue to watch how the dollar reacts at, uh, early this week. And if we do see further selling from that level after another failed test, so we can see prices slightly lower as it starts to trade for uh, this week. And at this stage, we are seeing risk currencies trading higher. We are seeing uh, risk currencies trading trading higher to the yen and uh, the dollar is currently uh, firmer to the yen as well. Uh, futures wise, um, we have seen a positive start from US futures. We can see this gap higher after a pretty solid session to end last week. So the Dow added 247 points, the S&P 29.40 points and 126.67 points added on the NASDAQ. So all three indexes have started the week firmer with gaps higher and um, we'll see if this could be the start of something so obviously we can see here with the ndx 100 there is a bit of a higher low and we have had a failed uh, test by sellers to try and get back down to this point and now we're seeing buying coming off that failed test so could this be the start of a new fight back from um, buyers we'll have to give it a couple of days to see if that does materialize but at this stage signs are looking okay now um the S&P has a similar uh, pattern, we'll just update it. So a very similar pattern, we can see that support there from 4362 and buying coming in after uh, Friday's higher close. So the US 30 uh, doesn't look pattern wise as great as the other two, but we did see some very nice buying and uh, you know a couple failed lows down around this level here at uh, 34.050. So we'll see if buying can continue, if we can get a move back up to test or break this resistance at 34.544. So other markets, um, the ASX is uh, online at the moment and just having a look at how it's starting up. So it's with positive US leads, it's 16.70 points higher uh, at this stage today. So support definitely does look pretty firm down at 70, uh, 93, but we do have this resistance area to beat at 71.74. And precious metals are trading higher at this stage. Silver is uh, leading the charge. Silver has been pretty firm of late and we can see this really strong rally here. It's been le uh, leading pretty well and what we would like to see now is if buying can continue from Friday. Uh, if we see buying uh, further buying today, if we can retest this short-term resistance at 24.29 and a break of that could set up a test back up to uh, the 24.76 area. So despite the comments from uh, the Fed on Friday, uh, markets do look, risk markets do look pretty positive at this stage today, but it is quite early in the Asian session. We'll need to see uh, how things uh, do continue. Uh, we would the JPN 225 with a weak yen at this stage and uh, positive leads. We would be looking for a possibility of further gains today. Uh, it does have a higher low as well. And we're looking to see if it can get up to test um, that 32.2 to six area and then obviously from there that would be the next resistance level of 32 uh, 32 five, five, eight. but um the, the pattern does look quite similar to the S spx and the uh ndx 100 so um Overall, I think that's what we'll be really concentrating on this morning to see if uh, this buying momentum can carry forward and if we will see uh, the dollar index continue to uh, struggle at this level, um, you know, around that uh, 104, 22, uh, you know, 40 area. And if um, sellers could, can, will look to try and get a uh, decent pullback going. The last uh, bar low we saw was uh, last week. Uh, it was a few days ago now. So it'll be interesting to see if um, sellers can start to try and uh, push push lower after that
Uh, test here. Now, um, crypto is a little bit mixed this morning. We're seeing Ripple slightly lower as is Bitcoin. Uh, the weekend was flat to higher. Uh, if we just take a look at Bitcoin, we can see yesterday's session was higher, but we do we still see price trading in a very shallow range. And um, Ethereum as well, not as bad as Bitcoin, but we can see a pretty tight range here. So it'll be interesting to see if we do see buy momentum uh, continue to push up this week in a lower dollar. If we do see some more. Uh, demand coming to crypto um, ripple at this stage is just above 50 cents and um, it has been really trading you know around that area between 50 and uh, 52 at this stage and um, there is a bit of a pattern forming here and it is a uh, a pendant pattern or um, just a, a triangle pattern so at the this can be seen as continuation patterns lower but you need a breakout and um, also they can it could even produce a move upwards uh, the trend is still you know down on the short to medium term so we'll see what happens and if buyers or sellers will win out on this one and if we will see a push but I think a lot will come down to uh, overall just some of the comments about rates um, if we get any more on that this week and then how the market takes to that and if we do continue to see risk markets continue to push so things are looking pretty rosy the Aussie is leading uh, out of the currencies at this stage it's 0.33% um, higher to the dollar and 0.3536% higher to the yen and the pound is uh you know coming in second at this stage in the morning so that's it for uh this morning's update we wish you all the best with your trading this week and uh we will have our second part of uh this morning's um, updates out a little bit later which will be the economic calendar focus so until then we wish you all the best good trading and bye for now